What's the crack lads? I'm Paul here in Manny Face and welcome to No Man's Sky. There's my little ship all the way over there. That nice little thing over there. I wonder if actually can I scan share ships? No. No. That is a negatory captain. But um yeah, I'm here to sell some goods, which I will go and do in a second. But I want to check these starships. So if you haven't heard about the heard, if you haven't heard about this game, then uh, yeah, the, I don't, don't know how. <laughs> it's like the most hyped thing ever. And, oh, 29 slots. It's all based around, like, procedural generation. So, like, the devs had this thing. I don't know. I'm not going to call it an AI because that's just, no, it's not the right term for it. But an AI-like thing where they fed a, a few basic concepts, like ship designs and stuff. And... After they did that, um, it kind of made like a load of random things from that. Like, say they fed it like this as a design, and it made like loads and loads and loads and loads of different variations of it. Then, and that I thought that was like a really cool thing. That same with the animals and the planets and everything. Everything's like procedurally generated, which is amazing. A uh, really cool twenty six slots. That's awesome. That's going to be a really big one. That's going to be like 30 slots. 32 probably. Something like that. What the fuck just landed? It sounded big. Or something took off. I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I've been really hyped for this game for a very long time. I have a pre-order from like months ago. And um, not only that, but I've also seen it since like last year at some stage. And... It just looked amazing and instantly I was like, oh, I must have it. It looks awesome. He just glitched through the ground. 10 out of 10 spaceship. 10 out of 10. So I'm going to go up here. There's an alien dude up here. And I'm going to sell some of my shit because my inventory is packed to the brim. Hello. You need 20 carbon to talk to. Okay. There we go. What's wrong with you? Jigga jig, jigga 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 jig. Lights, request healing, request shield recharge. Um, hmm, healing, I suppose. Yay, ha, all happy, awesome. Your health level rises. Oh, yeah, because my health level already dropped, so that was good. Okay, sell items from inventory. Get nip, because I don't need a neutrino module. Then from a starship, I have to sell my emerald, gold, chromium, aluminium. Awesome. I think that's about aluminium. Okay, that should be about it now. Awesome. Okay. Oh god, I always get confused in these places. But back out we go. Back out to explore, which is good for Paul. But my main objective at the moment is I have to be in my starship to actually show you. But it's to follow my ship. Uh, it's not my ship's AI, but it's this thing. Like when you spawn in, there's like this like module in front of your ship, and you interact with it, and this like red orb comes out of it. And um, yeah, so basically I talked to that, and it gave me two destinations, which one destination right then, which was to go to the center of the galaxy, music, and the other one which was to go away from the center of the galaxy, not away from in a general term, but away from to this waypoint, which is over there somewhere I need to rotate. Over there, Atlas interface, that's two tree jumps away. And then my other thing is to go to the galactic core, which is... All the way over there somewhere. Very, 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 very far away. Which is 178,000 light years away. And I can jump about 70 light years per go. So it's more than 300 jumps. A lot more than 300 jumps. It's almost 400, I think. Something like that. So I'm going to go and do that one first. But because it being a survival game as well as the whole space thing, you have to get fuel for everything 
so my war hyperdrive needs fuel which is warp cells to make a warp cell I need antimatter to get an antimatter I need an electron vapor to get electron vapor I need suspension fluid and to get that I need carbon I could probably make a warp cell right now actually no I don't have plutonium well shit um, there's an abandoned build, blah, 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 an abandoned building on that place, so I'm gonna go to that first. See, I've already been to that planet in this system, and it's not a good planet. I'm pretty sure it's, if it's the one I remember, it's covered in ice, and it's just not, it's not a good place. It's bad. It's all the badness. So, this could go one of two ways. Really good, or really bad. We'll find out when we get there. I also tried to record this video already and for some reason my computer just died and didn't want to work. And the recording wasn't actually recording because for some reason borderless doesn't count as windowed and the game has to be windowed for um for my recording software. So that was kind of shitty. See, so, like any other game I play, borderless actually does work for like recording so I can just play a full screen basically and it doesn't look any different to me. But it didn't work this time for this game for some reason. So it was basically just locked on the start of the video. And the, the like 20 minutes of footage just didn't change apart from my face cam. And I was like, oh, I, that that's just, that's a write off. So yeah, that, that, that went well. But try to, hopefully. It's a pity as well because fucking pirates and everything attacked me and I did fucking badass maneuvers and fought like four pirates and it was gonna look awesome and then it didn't, didn't just didn't work out why am I doing this uh, down here when you're in space you're so much faster just hover over it like this look up that way okay okay now we're out in space so I should be able to just look at that it's over there and boost all the way across. Yes. And now back down. You're way faster in space than you are, like, on ground. So, it's a lot easier to do. And to get to places. That seems to be in the middle of the water. If I'm not mistaken. But, no, me, I probably am. It's probably a tiny, tiny island that's covered by the actual symbol. But the water looks awesome. Go, go, go. I'm pretty sure this is Mr. Frozen Planet. Or freezing, I should say. It's like minus 100 degrees Celsius, I think. Um, That abandoned building is underwater. That's why it's abandoned. Okay. I'm going to land over here. Land, land, land. No jerky jerks. Just land. No, no. Okay. Good. This isn't the planet I was thinking of. Or was it? Actually, I think it is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. What the fuck? Extreme hazard planet. Hazardous climate. Extreme cold. Yep, this is the one. Wow. I parked perfectly right off the edge of a cliff. Right, I need to go in here. Into the water. Extreme Ugh. water temperature detected. Awesome. Hello. Scan you. Received. Awesome. Okay, so I have to go over here. Well, I can't wait for us the first um, patch to come out because the first patch, they've already said what's in it and what they already have like made for it. Like they're already working on the patch since the game came out. And they say that they're adding in like the option to feed and befriend animals, so they become pets. They're going to add in like base building, like bigger space freighters and stuff, and all sorts of cool things. It sounds awesome. I can't wait for the first one. Analyze you. Well, I see why this was fucking abandoned. Um. That's my gun. Awesome. Yep. 
I'm gonna have to go up before I can actually get down there because I need air. Please, are you in? The only way that could possibly be in is this thing. And it's like it doesn't count. It looks like a window. Um, awesome. Good to know. There isn't a fucking single. Oh, just give up in this building. <laughs> that was a waste of time. Ow. Okay. Good to know. Storm clearing. Awesome. I wasn't even present for the storm. I need to get back to my fucking... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I need to get back to my starship, quick. Because this planet is fucking deadly. Uh, I need to put stuff into this. There we go, quick, quick, quick. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me back. Yes, I understand. You're stressing me out, woman. Climb! Okay. Awesome. Now I have no fuel in this. And I don't think I, I don't have plutonium. Oh, the joys. It's a hard life. Now that's the thamium. I don't need fucking thamium. There it is, thamium. Yes, it is. Plutonium. Okay. Give. Quick. Give. Awesome. What are you? Copper. I need copper. Okay. Overheated. Awesome. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter! Okay. That should be enough copper. I, there was something I needed for. It was a this. Oh no, I need a lot more copper. There was something else though. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, I'm gonna need to mine all the copper that's there. I can refuel this at least though. For now. Jump out. And mine some more. Uh oh. That was a bad thing. That was bad. That was very bad. Come on. Come on, climb back up. Okay, there we go. Okay, I need a lot more copper. This could take a while. This could take a good while. I need like 200 copper. Although it's not going to take that long, but still. 200 copper is a lot. How much do I have do now? Do I have enough? 137. And now and then I need 50 more iridium. And a dynamic resonator. Dynamic resonator is easy. I can get that out of the galactic market up in the space stations. Normally. I can build it myself, but that's just awkward. Okay. Let's... Make sure I have enough copper. I need 225. So, I'm almost there. This should actually be enough copper in this one vein. So, that's handy. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so... One more round and then see if I have enough. Two hundred perfectly. Oh, I need another twenty-five. Okay, quick, quick. Okay, I need another like seven. Two 
Yep. Awesome. That's enough. Now I need 50 iridium and some, what else for that? Zinc. Okay. I can get that off planet. Or no. Okay. Yeah, that's a glitch that's been happening to me a lot. It just like, I use my launch thrusters and I somehow I'm in space. Actually, no, fuck this. I'm going to go to a different planet. Um, aim up. Get away from this planet a bit. Okay. Awesome. Discovered that planet, so I don't want to go there. I'll go over there. The one I haven't discovered. Three, two, one, go! Oh, 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 oh. Where's the distress signal? Where is it? Stop. Yes, yes. Oh, go. Oh, I love this because then you get standing with the people that are being, you have to protect and you get to loot the enemies. So it's fairly handy. I've got my foot on cannons equipped. Yes. My shields are fairly up. So, on we go. Bring it on, you enemies. Hello. You will have to go away from the him for a second because I can't get a target on you. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Here, let me get a laser on one of them first. Because that's a lot easier to do. Laser. Come on. Give me one of the enemies. Uh, oh, Jesus. Fucking hell. Stop moving over and around this fucker. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now he's going to come towards me and now I can just wreck him. There we go. Awesome. Okay, he's not attacking me. It's the other one. The other one, the other one is attacking me. Die, 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 die. My beams are fairly done up on this ship, so it does a lot of damage to the enemy ships. Die, 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 die. Come on. Yes. Got you. Give me your items. Oh, gold. Um, where's the last enemy? He's over there, apparently. Aha, there he is. Hit him with the laser. Laser, now come towards me. And wrecked. Almost. Oh, he's almost dead. Die, 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 die. Come on. Yes. Fuck you. Yay! Now these people like me more. Now I have to find undiscovered planet. There we go. Yay! That wasn't too bad. Apart from the fact that this is almost down. And I don't have much left to repair it with. So if I get attacked again, I'm fucked. But, the, the, just don't get attacked and then we're fine. Alright, not too bad. We kind of got some stuff together. Uh, my main objective is to, as I said, go towards that um, thing over there. So that's two more jumps away. So I need a few warp cells. And to get warp cells, you need antimatter. Antimatter, you need electron vapor. And electron vapor, you need suspension fluids. And then that needs carbon. But I don't have plutonium left. So there's no point in starting to make that because it's not going to do me any good because I need more resources. So, hmm, I'll probably find more resources on this next planet. But, yeah. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode of No Man's Sky here. I'm going to go off and try and get some plutonium together, a couple of warp cells, and then we can actually start going towards an objective and start seeing some things. I know the actual watching around on the plants is fun too and I will be doing a lot more of that as well so no worries there but 
Thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.